So in yesterday's video, I told you I was going to do a small video series explaining the very, very basic components of fasting. I have a tendency to go overboard, so I want to be able to take an opportunity to go super, super simple on what happens to your body and what happens to a fat cell when you get into a fasted state, when you're intermittent fasting. I think it's important we have a simple breakdown. And if you stick with me through the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a challenge that I'm doing, a 30-day transformation challenge using intermittent fasting, where the grand prize winner is going to win $1,000 and also a trip out to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. All right, so let's talk about this for a second. First, before I get into what happens in a fasted state, I want to talk about what happens with a fat cell when we're eating every two hours or we're eating just a typical breakfast, lunch, and dinner kind of thing. Okay. If we take a look at what a fat cell looks like, it's a pretty simple lipid droplet, okay? It's nothing really too complicated. It's a basically a storage mechanism for all kinds of different energies. Now, what ends up happening, the reason that a fat cell can grow and shrink, is fat cells absorb what are called triglycerides. And triglycerides are formed from a multitude of different things. But generally speaking, let's just say it's just food in general. It's usually carbohydrates, but we'll just say it's food in general. When you consume food, and you're consuming food every two or three hours, like a lot of the fitness industry wants us to do, or like we've heard is healthy, what happens is insulin allows these fat cells to get larger. It allows triglycerides to be absorbed by the fat cell, allowing them to expand. So basically what we have to remember is fat cells don't fully burn, they shrink and they expand. And they swell up when they have triglycerides that get absorbed in them. So every time you eat and you're putting triglycerides in your system and you're spiking insulin, every time you eat, you create insulin, your body creates insulin, it's gonna allow that to go into the fat cell and expand the fat cell. So that's why when you're eating every two hours, you're going to absorptive phase. You're going into this phase where your body is storing things. So very, very simply put. Now, that's not always the case. You don't always store lots of fat every time you eat, but generally speaking, it's a good way to explain it. But let's talk about what happens when you're fasting and what happens to a fat cell. You see, when you're fasting, your body goes through this period where it has to seek energy. It has to find energy somehow because you're not providing it with these triglycerides. You're not providing it with glucose. You're not having the spikes in insulin for the cells to be opened up and absorb food. You are left with your body looking for food. It has to find food somewhere. So most people think when they go into a fasted state that they just start starving, that things just go away, that they just they waste away. But you forget that you've got these fat cells that have triglycerides in them. They have fatty acids in them ready to be used for energy. So then you're fasting and you have a particular enzyme that actually comes out and it releases the fatty acids. So this enzyme is called lipase, okay? And this lipase enzyme breaks down fats. So ASE, the end of lipase, ase is usually uh, the suffix that you hear with any kind of enzyme. Whereas lipase, like L-I-P at the beginning of it, like lipid, fat. So fat enzyme, fat breaking down enzyme. So what happens is these fatty acids come out of the fat cell. This is a poor example of what a fatty acid looks like, but in this case, they look like little purple and blue lightning bolts. So these fatty acids then travel through the bloodstream and through the lymph throughout the body, basically getting ready to be converted into energy. Once they are converted into somewhat of an energy, they go to the liver and something known as ketogenesis occurs. So this is what's really cool. And this is where people get totally, totally off kilter and get the wrong idea. They think that this part is the end of the story. Okay, that the fat cell just releases these fatty acids and it goes straight to energy. No, something even cooler happens. These fatty acids go to the liver and they get th go through a process known as ketogenesis. Okay, this ketogenesis process is where the liver turns these fatty acids that were in a fat cell into an even more potent energy form known as ketones. Okay, these ketones, uh, beta-hydroxybutyrate, uh, acetoacetate, acetone, these are amazing ketone bodies that are extremely, extremely energy dense, much more energy dense than just fatty acids. So our liver has done an amazing job and it wouldn't be able to do that if we weren't in this state of fasting. So it's pretty phenomenal. So that's the job of the liver. This process is known as lipolysis and you've probably heard of it before. And if you remember biology class back in your sophomore year of high school, you might remember the word lipolysis, but it went in one ear and out the other. But when we're talking about it in this fashion, lipolysis is kind of exciting. So what's happening here is these fatty acids that are turned into ketones now go right into the bloodstream. This is the bloodstream, blood's flowing this way, ketone bodies go right into the bloodstream, and those ketone bodies become a source of fuel for the body. You have just taken fat through its entire lipase process, lipolysis process, and now into a mitochondrial energy conversion process. Very, very powerful. I hope that your perspective on fasting just went from this to this, because this is the very basic mechanism of what it does to a fat cell. 
Okay, but the benefits don't just stop there. You see, there's an additional benefit, and that's called autophagy. And what autophagy is, is where the body actually starts to recycle its old cells. This happens when you're fasting because the body, again, is looking for food. And when it doesn't have food that you've been bringing in through carbohydrates and through your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it has to find food somewhere. So it finds it from the fat, but it also finds it from our old dead cells. Old dead cells that the body would usually have to use a lot of energy to process and excrete. But now, through autophagy, those cells can be consumed for energy, creating new, fresh, clean cells and getting rid of the waste. What does this mean? It means you have a heck of a lot more energy. So you have a lot more energy plus fatty acids being burned it equals a perfect marriage of having more energy while you're already burning fat. So it's like the difference between just burning fat when you're walking and burning fat when you're running because you have more energy to put towards that fat burning. So in honor of promoting fasting and making sure I can get the word out surrounding intermittent fasting as much as possible, I am launching this 30 day challenge and the entries are open until next Wednesday, January 3rd. So what you're going to wanna do is you wanna click on the link below and you're gonna go ahead and enter and get the science-based six pack program and you're gonna start on the 30 day transformation journey. Now remember, this is all user done. So what I mean by that is whoever ends up winning the contest, they won because they were voted to win, not because I picked them. There's nothing subjective about this. This is all gonna be public and you get to pick the winner. And remember, the winner is going to receive $1,000 but they're also going to have the option to either come out to California and shoot some video with me here, or go out to Austin, Texas and shoot some video with me at the Six Pack Abs headquarters. So pretty, pretty exciting stuff. Now, another thing to know is February 3rd is when the contest ends. So you have from January 3rd to February 3rd to get in the best possible shape of your life and showcase exactly what you're doing. Now also for every single person that enters, you're going to be able to choose a supplement of your choice that is gonna be listed on the Six Pack Abs site. So you'll have your choice, so everybody wins in a sense, but we definitely want to give a huge shout out and a lot of recognition to whoever can lose the most weight and have the best transformation in that 30 days. So let's get to it. Let's do the science-based six pack program together and let's see how much weight you can lose and how much you can transform your body over the next 30 days. So just click on the link below and let's get to it. I'll see you there.